Yeah. All right, Boxing Zero, well, Diaz, we're, what, three, four days away from the big fight. Uh, Omar Figueroa is fighting against uh, Abner Cotto. What are your thoughts on your fighters? Well, um, my fighter is in great shape. Uh, as you guys know, he's a very unpredictable fighter. He has a lot of power in his fist, and uh, he's just happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. You know, this is a great card. Um, we're just uh, waiting for the moment. Uh, he's feeling good. He's, his weight, he's already on weight. Uh, uh, we're just waiting for Saturday night to to uh, show another explosive knockout. Yeah, speaking of weight, he said to make 135, he has to be really disciplined or it doesn't happen. And uh, he's, he said he wants to get a, a title real quick and then move to 140. Do you think we're going to see his best at 140 versus what we see at 135? You know, you're going to see a, a lot of him in the 135 division. He's a big boy. He's strong. Uh, he's uh, he's big for that 135-pound division. He can make 135 for the rest of the year. I noticed in this camp that, uh, I mean, we didn't have problems. It's all up to him. His discipline, uh, he has no problem. He's, we came to Texas a couple of days ago at 137, and he's been eating real well three times a day. So I know and I can see in the future that at least for the rest of this year, he can make 135. And then uh, maybe the ne next year we can move up to 140. We spoke to Abner, and obviously the, the game plan for them is to box. They think the jab is going to be key because they see the ass. They see Omar as a fighter that comes forward. What's the plan to make sure you can get to Abner and counter his any boxing that he might bring to the ring? Knock him out. You can't, you can't box Omar Figueroa, I guarantee you that. Michael Perez, one of the best boxers in the business, couldn't box Omar Figueroa. I'm telling you this, he was he was Timothy Bradley's sparring partner for the Provanica fight. That because Provanica was a pressure fighter. Well, let me tell you something. If you want pressure, you got Omar Figueroa. There's no way that he's gonna be able to box Omar Figueroa in that ring. I guarantee you that. If he tries to box Omar Figueroa, he's dead. He will be knocked out before the second round. You know, speaking of um, Timothy Bradley, Juan Manuel Marquez just announced he's fighting Bradley September 14th in Vegas. I know. I don't know if you've heard that yet, but it just you know, came out I, I, I got the news this morning, but. Um, what do you think about uh, that fight? Well, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very big fight for us. You know, it's I think it's a fight that that makes sense after you know him uh, coming out victorious. Um, over Pacquiao and then uh, Marquez, you know, knocking them out. So I think, you know, they should, you know, go at it. But uh, I still I still don't know if it's a for sure thing yet. I have not heard from, from Bradley himself. Usually I hear from him and we go from there. He gives me the, the approval and says yes, and I haven't heard from him today. But, uh, you know, that would be a great fight, I think. It's a very tough fight, as you guys saw Juan Manuel Marquez in his last. Uh, it's a, for us, it's going to have to be a very technical fight, you know. It's, it's, it's a very difficult fight, but not impossible. Before we get to Bradley, I want to go back to the fight Saturday. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of people there. Um, he's going to be fighting Puerto Rican. People get passionate when there's Puerto Rican and the Mexican. Is the, is, is the crowd going to play a factor in the fight? Are you going to be able to, are you going to have to uh, talk to your fighter to keep them focused and not get too into the crowd and whatever passion they're going to bring that night? Or, or is that something that you feel will help them in the ring? You know, when I walk in that when I walk in that ring with my fighter, my, my fighter is already programmed to ignore all that stuff. He's got one thing in mind, and that's a fight. We ignore everything that happens around the fight, during the fight. It, it, all, all he has to do is just take care of business. One, once he walks out of that ring, and then we take care of whatever's out there. But, you know, I prepare my fighters not only physically, but mentally. I've always done that very well, and they listen really well. So that's not a factor. He knows what he has to do. He's programmed to get in that ring and take care of business. He trained really well. He prepared him real, real well for this fight. And uh, we're not going to take uh, Abner Cotto for granted. I mean, uh, he's a fighter and he comes to fight. We take nobody light. And, uh, you know, we're just going to get in there and take care of it. And getting back to Timothy Bradley, Juan Manuel Marquez, uh, obviously a way different fighter than the one that you just fought. What does Timothy got to do if he does fight Juan Manuel Marquez to, to win the fight? He has to listen to me <laughs> and he has to be very smart. He has to be very technical. Yeah, I know you weren't happy with how he fought Provotnikov. Do you think he proved his point and that's done? You know what? Um, Tim was very stubborn for that fight, and I don't blame him. Uh, Tim, uh, he was attacked by by basically the world and the, and the fight with Pacquiao. And you know, I behind my, in, in behind my mind, I, I had a feeling that he was going to go on his own, uh, try to prove something. Uh, 
because of the way he was he was approached by by the world, you know, after the Pacquiao fight. But you know, uh, even though I got on his case and uh, you know I got on him during the fight in the corner, you know, it helped him because now a lot of people think different about about Tim Bradley. They you know they see that he has heart, you know, that he can fight. But at the, at the same time, uh, a lot of people don't know that Tim lost 45 pounds for that for that for yeah, the fight. Yeah. He was he was a little dehydrated. Um, after the Pacquiao fight, he was in a wheelchair. He was in crutches for a while. Uh, he was inactive for so long, and he is a fighter that, right after fights, he comes back to the gym and stays active. He never goes up and weigh that much. And for this one, he went up 45 pounds. So I think it was also a reason why, you know, every punch that Provana come hit him with uh, affected him so much. But we're not gonna let this happen. Two days ago, I spoke to him, and he says, "Coach, as soon as you come back from England." Uh, I'll be there. I'll be in the gym. We're gonna start training just for anything that happens because the offers are Pacquiao and Marquez. So right now at this point, I don't know if it's if it's Marquez for sure, or I know I know that the Pacquiao is not is not is not gonna happen because we would have to fight Pacquiao in Singapore and we're not gonna go to Singapore. Yeah, that probably wouldn't make any sense, if no. you, especially no. after people complaining about the decision right. in the first fight. And you know, talk about your you know you're going to England for a minute too. How do you feel about that fight? You know, Amir Khan has been doing a lot of talking again. That's okay. I mean, Amir. Khan does, uh, does a lot of talking. Everybody talks. I mean, I even heard uh, that Frey Roach even said something, but it's fine. I don't care. All I can tell you this. I'm going to England to ruin somebody's party. And uh, I feel real confident about this. I feel real good. I got I got a perfect plan. I got a perfect plan of attack for American. And uh, I'm going to come back with that, uh, with a victory. And how's Julio's mindset? You know, I thought he beat Sean Porter. A lot of people thought he won that fight. Did that give him even more motivation since he was written off before that fight? After the uh, Sean Porter fight, Julio was, in the, Julio was back in the gym on Monday. Wow. And he's been in the gym since. His weight never went up. Julio is walking around within a few pounds, you know, and he's uh, very strong, very focused, and very hungry for success again. Julio wants to be back in the mix. And uh, Amir Khan, well, you know, he's a very powerful fighter. I mean, he don't have a lot of power, but he's very fast. And I don't take that from him. But for fast fighters, you gotta have the right strategy, and I have it. Uh, I'm gonna go to England, I'm gonna ruin Americans' party, I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna look forward to bigger fights. Can you give us brother. a little bit of what you think Julio needs to do to beat America? Be patient. <laughs> he needs to be patient, and he needs to listen to me, and, and he has. In the last sparring sessions back home, you know, he tells me, he goes, man, you got the right plan. When I listen to what you tell me, you make sense. If I do this, no problem with American. Come on, I mean, you go back to watch Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia was throwing as soon as American was throwing, you know? American lets go of his punches, you know, you just throw when he throws and you catch him because he opens up a lot. And not only that, you have to you have to worm down a little bit. He's dangerous in the early rounds, that's all. Once, once you go through the first three, four rounds, the rest is easy. There's that old say, saying, timing beats speed. Is that timing the key? Beats speed. You know, I know speed kills, but you know what? You just gotta roll with the flow, you know? That's, that's all right, we'll give American a few rounds. He, he can put a couple rounds in his pocket, but as soon as that, those rounds are in his pocket, it's our turn. Julio hits a lot harder, a lot harder than him. I mean, Sean Porter is fast, Sean Porter is strong, and Sean Porter didn't want nothing from Julio Diaz after the sixth round. Well, we know you got a couple of uh, busy weeks coming up with this fight and then yeah. going off to England. Uh, thanks for the interview, and uh, just give us a prediction on that fight. Is it going to be knockout for, for your brother? Julio, I'm going to tell you something. The fight not going to go this way. You, you, you don't want it to either, right, being you're it's in England? Go this. I mean, we know, and we're going to England with that mentality. If it goes the distance, we're not going to win. So it's not going to go the distance. Panterita winning by, uh, by knockout also? Extreme knockout. <laughs> one, of the one of the best knockouts <laughs> of the year. All right, thank look, you. Look thank forward you. to that. I